In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire your DC train layout with blocks. We're going to make this with five blocks for this example, and we'll have two cabs or two power packs. You're reminded that you can also use DCC for your power rather than the DC power packs shown here. I have another video uh, showing you how to do that. But I will go through the wiring diagram, then I'll take you to a video uh, section that shows a two cab DC power pack and then show you how that works. This is a basic diagram that will show you how to wire a DC or analog layout for block operation. What I have here, for example, is a simple oval with five blocks. On the inside uh, rail, that's a common rail. That common rail will be your ground. Each of the blocks themselves will go to a switch. So block one will come over here to one switch, block two here, block three here. Now, it's very easy to set this up. When you, you use double throw switches, switch one way, you go to the first cab. Switch the other way, you go to the second cab. That way, you can run two trains with two operators on the same layout. Put one on a siding, have the other pass. It's a matter of switching back and forth. Now, like I say, this is a very small loop, and the wiring is somewhat complex for a small loop, but it shows you what you have to do. You have a common ground, your center, uh, you, you, one side of each of the double throw switches goes to one cab, the other side goes to the second cab. A common ground and common rail. Now, as far as power packs go, there's a link below that will take you to the type power packs available. We have a manual, and you can also use something on your phone. So this is what the basic layout looks like when you use a block uh, blocks with dual cab control. This is a DIY power pack or a train controller for controlling DC or analog trains. It's a two cab train controller. You can make it single cab, but in this case, let's look at what we have. We've got a reversing switch on each side, then we have a throttle again on each side. They're mounted in a box. It's just a simple homemade box out of some scrap uh, ACF. Then we have a male, uh, male ad adapter here for the power coming in, power with anything from 30 volts to 6 volts. So you can put good voltage to your track, uh, and then you can control different gauges very easily. And then this is the output side to the track. Plug in a connector here, and it goes right out to your track. I have, in this case, two circuit breakers 
you don't have to use this type circuit breaker. You can mount inside a fuse type circuit breaker. But it's very convenient, very easy. Plug in your power, connect it to the track, and now you have a power pack. Like I say, you can go ahead and make this up in single cab configuration, throttle, switch off and reverse, off and forward again. Very simple, very inexpensive. This test board represents two blocks with dual cab control. You can also set this up for single cab control. You can operate each train independently, put them on a block, isolate it, let the other train run around. This can be two concentric ovals, or it can be an oval with a siding as shown before. I hope you learned from this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give it a like and please subscribe. Stay healthy, have a good life, and have a good day.